You know something I like to do in my free time is search Dave Stewart videos on YouTube. Dig, dig up dirt is what you do. I just like to do a little bit more research. <laughs> I remember you as a kid watching you dig. pitch for the A's. He's digging up dirt. But I really want to get the context now as, as an adult. Like, who was Stu back in the day? And this is perfect because A's and White Sox, you made a very famous post-game quote inside the clubhouse at Old Comiskey Field. We'll explain it in a second, but it's probably better if you just watch it here as we do this Stu story time. Someone in the left field upper deck hung a massive jack off the upper deck and it had his name on it. <gasps> you said that? I most certainly did. What did the White Sox do to you? Oh, maybe this is it. No, this actually the, the comment was said at, at our ballpark. Okay. Um, I had uh, I had actually <laughs> lost a game going into the eleventh inning. The score was tied one to one. Um, I came back out. Um, You're pitching in the eleventh inning. Let's yeah, let's recap yeah. that. Yeah. And the yeah. score is one to one. Right. Right. First hitter is Dan Pasqua. I get take the count to three two count. He hits the three two pitch over the left field fence. Right. They are winning now uh -huh. two to one. Right. And after Pasqua hit that home run, they had a bunch of guys on their bench that were hooting at me, and I couldn't figure out when the hell they were hooting at me. And the, the ring leader was Jack McDowell. So I'm a saying, pitcher. Yeah. So I'm right. saying, what in the heck are these guys hooting on me about? You know, and and they kept doing it. So. You know, it was in my young days, man, when my temper was a little bit quicker. I stepped off the mound, and I started to walk into their dugout during the game. And uh, obviously that didn't happen. I lose the game 2-1. to one. And then that the interview you just saw. Mm, it was actually later, I take it back, right? Yeah. It wasn't that game. So, But I also saw that oversized jockstrap. That yeah. White Sox fans made. When there's there's to, also when, when we got to Kaminsky. There's yeah. a story to that too. Yeah, they had uh, they had that big jock hanging out in the out of out on the the left field yeah. foul pole, and uh, I saw it and I thought it was funny. I mean, <laughs> the truth is, that the whole thing was hilarious. It was funny. You ended up but signing then, it. Yes, after the game, uh, they they had their wives' club, yeah. and you know they do stuff for charities. And, and the wives asked me if I would sign that jock. <laughs> and I did end up signing that jock, and they made some money. They said they made pretty good money off of it. I don't know the exact amount of money. Doesn't that matter. They made, but they made some pretty good money on it, and they donated it to charity. Only Stu could turn trash talk into charity. I feel like, I feel like you've said that saying to me recently, too, after some of our shows together. I'm, I'm glad I'm just fitting in the White Sox mold. <laughs> Here's Mark Kotze. We, we've got to move on. You're digging up dirt. <laughs>